Hi everyone, my name is Brian and I'm the 3D print creator. In this video I'm showing you at this moment, uh, but also in a few other videos, I'm showing you I use uh, some different slicers to import my files into uh, XYZ Wear for Pro. And the reason I use those different slicers is because there is a problem in XYZ Wear for Pro with slicing some parts uh, that are very small. And because of that problem, I use Cura or Simplify 3D or uh, Slicer to slice this part because there, there are no problems. Then uh, when I use Slicer or uh, Cura, uh, you have to import the file to send it to your printer back again into XYZ Wear for Pro. And lately I'm getting questions if it's still possible with the newest version updates of XYZ Wear for Pro to import those G-code files. So here for example is a question by Rulof Versluis who is asking me uh, is it still possible to import those GCOS files because he says which version of XYZ Wear are you using? The newer ones don't have the option to import G-code it seems. Well they do they still can import G-code files. Um, I'm a little bit afraid you're maybe not using XYZ Wear for Pro, which is a possibility because they don't support the import of G-code files. Uh, but since the latest software update, which is 1.1.7.5, uh, they still do import those G-code files. And I can show you because here I have the uh, the the, the software XYZ Wear for Pro and it says uh, on the latest version if I click about then a pop-up will appear and that pop-up says it's version 1.1.7.5 and if I click on software update it says that my software is already up to date to the latest version so I can click this away then when I go to the import uh, I can import the scooter G-code without any problem. And here you can see the scooter G-code is still importing in this software. So yes, it is still possible to import the G-code directly from Cura or from Slicer into the XYZ Wear for Pro software. That said, uh, now with the newest version, you can also directly import the SDL file because there is no problem anymore where in the video I showed you that there was a problem with uh, those very thin pieces and this is a very thin piece it's only two millimeters thick uh, those problems are gone now they have solved this problem in the newest version of the software and you won't see this problem anymore so there is no need to go to another slicer so that's what I want to say to you. Uh, well, thanks for the question. It's still possible to import G-code. And well, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, maybe you can give it a thumbs up. Maybe you can, uh, well, subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next time around. Thanks a lot for watching.